Hey everybody, so this is my second attempt. <clears throat> I just learned that you cannot film, you cannot video in Arizona outside because my phone overheats. So, whew. So I'm out here in a beautiful park in downtown Phoenix. And a lot of really great things have happened in my life that I want to share with you. Um, some really amazing, unexpected changes. Um, I thought I'd get out here before it was too hot this morning. Um, it's about 8.30 and it's 103 degrees outside. So that failed. <laughs> um, but I had some really cool things I wanted to ha share with you guys. So a couple things that happened. I moved in the last couple weeks, which is why I've been so silent. Um, huge move. I moved from the suburbs, um, the very conservative suburbs, to central Phoenix. I'm very excited. I love living in a place where I'm close to restaurants and great bars and amazing food and cool people and close to my church and in a really really great house in a great neighborhood and I'm excited really great schools um, but I'm most excited I actually was driving around one night and tears started coming because I'm so excited that I finally live somewhere it's the first time I've lived since I've come out in a place where I'm not judged by who I am and it's pretty exciting so I'm sitting here on the top of this beautiful hill in this park and watching people play Pokemon Go. It's pretty hilarious. There's people walking around with me with their heads down in their phones. And I'm up here with my head down in my phone. But um, I've had a really remarkable experience this week that I really want to share because I believe that it can help a lot of people. Um, I, I mentioned previously that there's been a little bit of challenge and struggles in the area of relationships in my, my personal romantic relationship that I was in. Um, we have been together almost seven years. A lot of struggles, a lot of challenges, and a lot of really, really great stuff. Um, we helped each other learn and grow in ways that I that I love, and and we struggled in a lot of areas. Um, we always joked and laughed and said that you know you couldn't have two more opposite people than we were in a relationship, and we really tried hard for a long time to make it work. We tried really hard. We um, lots of different counselors, counseling sessions, retreats, workshops, you name it. And this past week, we had a mutual understanding, a mutual decision, if you will, that was made separately. And it's really beautiful how we came together. And our decision was to end our romantic relationship. And the more I think about what happened the more in awe I am the more love I feel the more happiness I feel in the midst of all the sorrow of ending a relationship um, see I think there's a, a misconception a an unwritten rule that is total bullshit in our world that if you're in a relationship not married um, but in a relation you know relationships are test drives they're an the opportunity to get together with somebody and say hey I want to see if this works out but there's this this stupid stuff saying, but once you're in a relationship, you can't get out if it's not right. Um, and so people stay in relationships that they shouldn't be in. And so we came to an agreement beautifully on our own and we brought it together and we're completely on the same page that our friendship was much more important than our relationship. Um, he's truly my best friend and somebody who I want to share so many amazing things with and I have shared so many so many amazing things with over the last seven years and he loves me and my kids and they love him and we love him and and yet as a romantic relationship there were so, so many huge challenges and struggles that we just couldn't seem to overcome and what we found you know he said at best you know you can't put a square peg into a round hole and when you try to and you try to force it, you damage both of them. And I can see there are so many areas where my self-esteem was in the toilet, his self-esteem was in the toilet. We walked on eggshells, we couldn't say things around each other without getting upset. And it was ruining our friendship. Um, so we decided to end our relationship and are now friends and What's really interesting is literally within minutes of having the conversation and making this happen, we were able to spend the next several hours together laughing and joking and having fun and, and being friends. Um, 
stuff that used to bother us didn't bother us anymore because we took all that away from it. And I, I think, you know, you, I think of the quote, if you love it, let it go. Um, but even more importantly, our love, we definitely love each other. And that doesn't mean we have to be in a romantic relationship. You know, there's a lot of people that I love. Um, so, huge transition, huge transition time. So, I don't know if Chris will be watching this or not, but if so, I want to say thank you because you've offered me a huge gift, one of billions that you've offered me in seven years, of really being able to learn what matters and what's important in relationship. Um, so, I'm sad, I'm really sad, and I feel peace and power and this was very empowering you know I've ended relationships where you feel weak and beat down and hurt and devastated and this one I felt love I felt empowered I felt grace I felt gratitude um, and we ended it in a way that will allow us to go through our, the rest of our lives and become very very dear friends so I'm I'm deeply grateful for that so that's authentic that's what true authenticity is. It's two human beings to be able to say, you know what, let's get our egos out of the way for a few minutes and let's just look at what really matters. So, you know, part of the purpose of this, of this vlog series for me is to model authentic, to model living an authentic life. And I can't think of what's more authentic than that. So, um, I challenge you to look at your relationships and I know a lot of you are in relationships that aren't working, you know, how can you, how can you either fix it or be adult about it enough to say, let's just be friends because you know what, just because you say, hey, you want to be my boyfriend or you want to be my girlfriend, doesn't mean you're committed for the rest of your life, it means you're testing it out, you're t doing a test drive and if that test drive is not the one you want to live in and buy, then don't, it's that simple and it doesn't have to end in hurt and anger and mistrust and devastation. So anyway, I'm just babbling now. So I want to tell you about a kind of a new format I'm going to do with this vlog series. Um, I don't know if I've said this before. I'm going to actually run two playlists on my YouTube channel. The first one will be my authentic transformational videos. Um, and the second will be my story. You know, I've had a lot of people through the years um, ask if I could tell my story. Um, it's a pretty powerful story of strength and authenticity and perseverance and growth. And I want to tell it all. I want to be as real and raw as I can. And so there will be a whole other channel, or, or not channel, a whole other playlist just with those, those videos because they really don't, although it has to do with authentic transformation, it's, I think it's a whole different topic and I want you to be able to follow the story. So I'm going to start recording for both, both playlists and post them as I go. Um, school's about to start. We just had this huge move. The house is still a wreck. Um, We've got a lot of trans transitions happening in our life, and so I'm getting ready to begin a lot of stuff. And so a lot of people have asked me, you know, how come you're doing all this at once? Um, go make your go home. That's the way I like to play. So um, here's how it's going to work. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be starting some new transitions that I'm going to be sharing with you um, that I believe are going to make my life um, more amazing, more full, living my life of authentic truth and living a life of passion, authenticity, and love. So three areas I'm gonna work on specifically. Um, the fourth seemed to have taken care of itself just now. Um, my health, which encompasses two really, my, my body, weight loss, um, pain, inflammation, discomfort, that whole area. Um, my diet and my finances. Um, so. I'm beginning to follow the f steps in four principles of financial, I can't even, freedom. I don't even remember the name of the book. It's an awesome book I just finished reading, and I'm also going to be starting the Dave Ramsey series, and I have a dear friend who is a, just a genius at managing money who's going to be mentoring me and holding me accountable, so I'm excited about that. I'm going to be starting that process in the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm also starting Whole30. Um, I don't know when yet. I've just ordered the book and I want to read it first. So hopefully within the next month I'll be starting Whole30, which will completely change and transition my food, my diet, my eating. I'm going to go off of sugar completely and that's going to be something that you're going to be walking right along with me. I really do believe it's going to have a huge impact in my life. 
and I am going to start back to yoga. I'm actually going to start back to Ashtanga yoga, which is one of my favorite yoga practices. Um, my body doesn't move the way that it used to, and um, I have a lot of pain and inflammation, and I'm doing a lot of other great things with my oils and supplements that are helping that. However, I want to get back to where I used to be. I don't want to be an old man at 46. I want to be a young, energetic man who can just move and groove, and so I'm excited. So. Whew, so it's hot, so maybe that's why my energy is a little low this morning, but um, come along on my journey with me, and I'm going to ask you this, if you find something in my videos, I know right now mostly it's just my friends watching it, there's not a ton of viewers watching, but I'm going to keep doing it anyway because it's for me, it's for my kids, it's for my posterity, it's for me to have some accountability and to share my journey, and I apologize for the shade, but when I was in the sun my phone died and I wanted to keep doing it while I was here in the park. Um, let's see, I just go, ding ding, squirrel. Um, but I'm going to ask you this, if I, if I say something in one of my videos that spurs something in you and causes you to think or do differently, um, I invite you to comment so that I know. Um, if you have questions about me, comment so that I know what question to answer. Um, there's nothing I won't tell, I'm an open book. And if you have somebody who you think this could benefit, share it with them, please. Um, I would love nothing more for for my words to be the cause of somebody having amazing things happen in their life. So that's it for now. So continue living a life of passion, authenticity, and love, everybody. Um, life is really too short not to. So it's a beautiful thing. I love you all. I'm excited to see where this journey takes us. Thanks for coming along with me, and I'll talk to you next time.